Hey mom, how you doing? It's been a while since I put a video up. Um, I'm not naked. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I hope uh, you've been surviving the heat. We had 107 the other day. So that wasn't fun. Um, my garden has pretty much died back. Uh, except for the peppers. The peppers are going strong. Still getting some zucchinis. Uh, the pumpkins are not getting as big as I wanted, but it is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to flip this around and show you the patheticness of my garden. <laughs> Alright. So, everything's looking dead. Mostly because we had um, powdery mildew issues. And uh, because of that, a lot of stuff died back. Now, uh, also, because it took me so long, whoops, sorry, because it took me so long to get the infrastructure done, um, I didn't get things planted as in a timely fashion. So really, the cucumbers don't like the hot weather. The, you know, this is, this is indicative of heat stress right here. Um, and, uh. We've got other stuff going still, but not really producing. Nothing's getting big. I think that this thing's almost ready to go. These cucumbers aren't going to get much... Uh, not cucumbers, my bad. <laughs> um, these... Uh, oh my gosh, I can't think... Uh, cantaloupes aren't going to get very much bigger. Uh, I water every day and you can see just how dirty... I am mean, not dirty, my goodness, how dry everything is. I got a little drip going to the pomegranate tree right now. Uh, strawberries are not producing. They're sending out runners now, and they are pretty much done for the season. So uh, next year, though, I think uh, we're going to be in business for strawberries. <laughs> and next year, of course, I am going to, you know, uh, direct seed the stuff I want growing up here. You know, this uh, watermelon, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with it. This one as well, it's growing into that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say about this. Anyways, looks like hell. Very disappointing. have a lot of uh, bean pods that I need to pick. You know, I'm after it for the beans. This thing's taken off. It's almost to the top. I'd say it's about three quarters of the way up. And uh, I need to get it off the fence though. I don't want it growing on the fence. So, I think their cat knocked my, uh, my lamp over. In fact, I think I'm gonna go fix that right now always coming over here trying to catch the hummingbirds. Came over here today and started uh, chasing off OC and a little black kitten. Let me get that back up and over. There we go. Anyways. I just dropped Bella off at school. So... And this is kind of zoomed in. Um, yeah, the uh, these are no good. Those uh, died because of the um, powdery mildew, but a lot of these are good, um, and they're about ready to be picked. Can't wait to eat those beans. Oh, let me show you the borash. It's flowering. These are edible flowers. Did you know that? You can actually put them in like a drink or, or teas or on a salad. Um, they're completely edible. Now this thing will seed itself like crazy. And honestly, I'm okay with that. From what I hear, so I watch uh, Garden Answer. And Garden Answer, um, the uh, producers are Laura and uh, Aaron, her husband. And... Um, 
she says that they're really easy to pull out. So, um, of course, she has very healthy soil. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the other one. It's also uh, starting to bloom. And uh, so, yeah. And this little watermelon just has not produced anything. It's like uh, really struggling. So I'm not sure what's going on. The baby booze, oh Lord, the baby booze did not get very big. And I'm gonna pull those off. We did not get any um, uh, Jack B. Littles. So no, no orange ones other than the big ones, which are not that big. Uh, this one's starting to turn orange, but you know, it's, uh, whoops, it's, it's not that big. This is my hand. So, I mean, it's a little bigger than my hand, obviously. Got another one growing right here. And, uh, it's sending off flowers still. Um, I sprayed it down really good with some fungicide, but we still have it, I see. I need to get that out of here. Anyways, uh, like I said, we had 107 degree weather the other day. These are my peppers. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, 107 degree weather. Oof, it really took out my... Look at that. Oh boy, isn't that cool? Lots of flowers on that one. And everything is doing good as it relates to the peppers. They're, they're loving this heat. But the tomatoes, not so much. Not so much. Not so much. <laughs> so, uh, never got any flowers out of my um, echinacea. Uh, this little one just tried like heck to grow, and all it's really doing is dying. I think I have it above the ground too much now that I, now that I see it. In any event, the zinnias came back, so that's cool. And <clears throat> here's a little pumpkin over here. Weird little shape, huh? <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, um, I got to pick this zucchini. Got absolutely zero um, butternut squashes. So that kind of sucks. But again, next year it is on like Donkey Kong. I am going to be planting early. I need to pick tomatoes. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make a sauce tomorrow with what I do have. Um, anyways, next year I am going to um, absolutely plant early. And uh, I'll be picking in the summer instead of here we are in the dead of summer uh, trying to hope for something to pick. I mean, look at that. It's just, oh my goodness, looks terrible. Everything. These are, um, these are, um, oh my gosh, Sweet William. What do they call this? Is this Dianthus? Listen, listen. Here, you hear all that seed? <laughs> That's a lot of seed. Hey, Rosie, what are you doing? What are you doing, baby? Where'd that little black kitten go, huh? Everything looks like hell in here. <laughs> the heat just got to it and sent all of the lettuces to seed, which really sucks. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I need to water. I haven't watered yet today. Um, but, uh, yeah, those are gone to seed. These are ready to go to seed. You know, just everything went to seed so fast because... It's so hot in here, so I really have to do better um, come this next February, February, March. I'd like to have everything in the ground by March or April. And 
and uh, that will have us harvesting around uh, you know July before it gets really hot look at this this is an avocado tree junior uh, brought over an avocado pit that he had started and um, so this is uh, the avocado tree growing yeah isn't that fun everything else is just barely hanging on <laughs> just barely honestly I have kind of neglected everything especially it's been so hot oh my goodness it's just crazy but oh look at that those are all growing too oh my goodness what Rosie what a matter baby um, I've got to collect my broccoli seeds and then get this out of here there's a lot to be done, but there's nothing to be done during this ridiculous um, heat. What in the world is that? Oh. All right, I'm going out, Rose. Anyways, those never did anything. Again, everything got put out way too... <gasps> We're about to get a flower. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Look okay, at this tomato plant. It's dying off and it dropped one, one tomato. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's time to get these carrots pulled because I think they're getting ready to go to seed. So I need to get them pulled. Um, there's not very many left. I've been pulling off of them and cooking with them. So... Um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, look at this. This is the purple um, basil, and it's gone to flower. It's so pretty. I love these calyx. Look at that. So pretty. Even when they drop their flowers, they're pretty. So. Um, I need to cut this <coughs> bacopa back. Um, I think I just need to kind of cut this whole thing back. And uh, let it rest for a little while. Finally got some lavender shoots. Huh? Oh God, they smell so good. Mmm, I love the smell of lavender. And the pansies finally started flowering. But uh, they're flopping over. Wish they wouldn't. Whoops. I wish they wouldn't flop over, but there you have it. Blueberries are doing much better. They are putting off a lot of new growth. A lot of new growth on here. Um, I still haven't pulled these leeks. Oh my gosh. I got to get them out, yo. Uh, this is the fung fungicide that I use. It's a copper fungicide by Captain Jack. He's an organic uh, provider of things of this nature. And uh, it's um, let's see here. So once I pull everything in the tunnel, I'm actually going to condition the soil with some of the fungicide because um, you know I think once you have it as bad as we have it right now, you tend to um, it tends to be in the soil. So. Um, I put one tiny little, teeny tiny little one of these in here, and now it's got one, two, three, four, five, six florets. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. And these are getting ready to start popping again, which is fun. They put off a really pretty yellow flower, and uh, these guys are doing all right. They could be doing better, but they're doing all right. Uh, I had a lot of plans this year, and um, they just didn't pan out. You know, I'm hoping to be more on top of it next year. So, that's pretty much it, Mom. I, uh, 
I gotta start shutting windows and uh, I need to water real quick. Uh, it's gonna be uh, in the hundreds today again. But we're supposed to start cooling down tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully it never gets back up to 107. That was insane. That was insane. That was crazy. You know, it got 116 in Livermore. 116 for two days. If it had gotten that hot here, I think I would have taken Bella and gotten a room, you know. But, um, anyways, that's it. Well, we love you, Mom. We miss you. Tell everyone we said hi. And uh, I'll give you a call a little bit later. All right. Love you. Bye.